Okay, now it's Easter Sunday. We don't have no Formula One. But what we do have is a celebration. A celebration of the resurrection of Christ. Now I want to be a little bit harsh to some of these weird folks that are out there today. These deluded people that run around giving Easter eggs when they don't even believe in what they're celebrating. They're giving Easter eggs from a bunny when bunnies don't lay eggs and eggs have got nothing to do with Jesus, someone they don't believe in, but they're taking part in this activity that don't make no sense to their lifestyle and beliefs. Why? Because they're told to. Let's give the kids some death. Let's give all the kids, oh, your grandparents, why don't you get loads of eggs, loads of these chocolate eggs, and go and give them to your grandchildren on a day that's supposed to celebrate a resurrection of somebody's life. You're going to give your loved ones death. Come on, you stupid people. Why are you going to go around giving your loved ones something that's going to kill them? Something that's going to diminish their quality of life. Factual. Factual. The only good thing in chocolate is the cocoa. But there's way too much milk in there and way too much sugar in there. And there's no, it's not a healthy food, especially the chocolate you're giving to your children. It's not the dark chocolate that's quite healthy for you. It's the crappy milk chocolate. <laughs> but anyway, let's get to the point. It's the resurrection. Hey, Alexa, is she on? Alexa, what is Easter? Easter, also called Pascha or Resurrection Sunday, is considered to be the most important and oldest festival in the Christian church, celebrating the resurrection of Christ three days after his crucifixion at Calvary. Celebrating the resurrection of Christ three days after something. He, was, he, he died on a Friday, he came back to life on a Sunday. Oh, a Sunday! That's a coincidence, eh? It's called a Sunday. Sunday, the sun. Or is it called the Sunday for that reason? Alexa, why is Easter always on a Sunday? In 325 AD, a group of Christian bishops known as the Council of Nicaea established the uniform observance of Easter, which stated the holiday should be observed on the Sunday after the first full moon that occurred on or after the vernal equinox. Right, so Easter is on the first Sunday after the first full moon after the vernal equinox. Alexa, what's the vernal equinox? According to Wikipedia, the March equinox or Northward equinox is the equinox on the Earth when the subsolar point appears to leave the southern hemisphere and cross the celestial equator, heading northward as seen from Earth. The March equinox is known as the vernal equinox in the northern hemisphere and as the autumnal equinox in the southern hemisphere. Right, I get that. The vernal equinox is basically the start of summer. That's the start of summer. When the sun is now crushed, oh, it's, it's the earth. The tilt of the earth is now on a certain point in the solar system on its journey around the sun. And now we're breaking into summer on the northern hemisphere. So, Alexa, is Easter the start of summer? Here's something I found on the web. According to abalogic.com, Easter marks the start of longer days and much warmer weather, portraying that summer is coming. Right, yeah, so it's the start of summer. The vernal equinox is, there's two of them. There's a, there's a northern hemisphere one and a winter hemisphere one. The vernal equinox in March, which is where we are now, is the start of summer in the northern hemisphere. And then the one in winter is the start of summer in the southern hemisphere. But we've got to remember all these religions, all of them that I know of, originated in the northern hemisphere. Christianity originated in the northern hemisphere. So that's why we have the Easter when summer starts in the northern hemisphere. So we're celebrating the sun, the sun that was sent here, the son of God sent here to save us to give us life, the sun in the sky. That's why Easter 
is basically the sun in the sky. Start of summer. Christmas, I've said this one already. Christmas is a couple of days after the shortest day in, in the, um, on the calendar, in the year. The shortest day of the year is like the 22nd of December. The, age, the ancient scene that around the 25th of December, the days started to get longer. After the winter equinox, and because the days were getting longer, the sun was in the sky for longer, which they said, oh, it's the rebirth of the sun for another year. So that's Christmas. So it's sun worship again. You know, the son of God sent here to save us. The one that turned water into wine. The sun shines down on the earth, it evaporates the water. The water forms in the sky and creates clouds. The clouds release that water and it falls as rain and lands on the vineyards. And the vineyards grow the grapes and the grapes make the wine. That's an absolute fact of the sun turning water into wine. It's a fact, it's a fact. The Easter is the star of the summer in the Northern Hemisphere. It's a fact. Christmas, it's a fact that it's a couple of days after the winter equinox. All these things are facts, but you try and tell these things to people and their brains are shut off, their eyes cloud over and they go, no, what are you talking about? Reject this, reject this information, it's wrong. It's just a bit of fun. <laughs> but you don't believe in, you don't believe in Jesus. Why are you running around giving eggs? Why? What are you doing? You are behaving in a mindless way. If you behave in a mindless way, you're a mindless person. So you've got to understand, you can't have the best of both worlds. You can't be running around here thinking you're intelligent, doing mindless things. Explain to me. Explain to me. What do you want me to explain? Whoa, what's, what's the deal here? going on do you believe in jesus or not are you religious or are you not i'm not religious when you're dead you're dead when you're dead you're dead is that what you believe well what's dead well, it's when you're dead isn't it well, what's dead it's when you're not alive okay so when's not alive well when when is well, something that's not living what is living well you're so stupid what are you asking stupid questions for oh i'm stupid you can't answer the questions. That makes sense. All right then, pal. All right then, mate. You carry on. Jog on, son. <laughs> That's me, uh, the common English. Jog on, son. All right, pal. <laughs> but come on, it's just so simple. It's so simple. Like, it's, it's funny to watch these mindless people run around here. Just taking part in activities they have not, no clue about. Taking part in activities that they deny. Why are you doing Christmas? Why are you doing Easter? You don't believe in this stuff. Why are you giving chocolate eggs? Why are you giving poison to your loved ones on a celebration that you don't believe? It's moronic behavior, seriously. Now, maybe it's harsh, but so what? So what are you gonna do about it? You're taking part in moronic activity and I'm supposed to not be harsh by telling you the truth. Come on now. Stop taking part in mindless activities. If you want to run around doing this Easter business, at least learn what it is. At least don't deny. Just don't be very religious. But to deny it, it's crazy. That is crazy. That's like liking Formula One, but denying the wheel. <laughs> Wheels don't exist. But I love Formula One. What? But what do you mean? How does that work? Forget, don't worry about how it works. I don't believe in wheels, but I think Formula One's great. Watch it all the time. <laughs> You're being clownish. Being silly. Being silly. Now stop being silly. Realize these things. Take part in them if you want to. But don't deny something and then take part in an activity that supports what you deny. It's weird. It's stupid. It really is. All right, spent 10 minutes speaking about Easter. <laughs> Have a nice Easter, folks. I hope you enjoy your chocolate eggs. And you know what? Another one. Why do you think it feels so nice when you go on holiday on a nice summer's day and you lie there and the sun is beaming down on your skin? 
Why does it feel so good? It's because it's the spirit of Jesus shining down on you. The giver of life. You're lying there or standing there. And the spirit of Jesus is just, just you're just basking in the spirit of Jesus. And it feels so beautiful. Because it's the spirit of Jesus. Not just because it's warm. When you go on holiday, you don't feel good just because you're not at work. You feel good because you're basking in the spirit of Jesus. And it energizes you, vitalizes you, feels great. So you go out there today, eat your chocolate eggs and bask in the spirit of Jesus, someone you don't believe in. Have a great Easter, folks. All right, I'm out of here.